We are here with Jason Money van Amarve. Jason, you are fighting on TBK2. How are you feeling about that? Uh, I'm super, super excited for the event that's coming up. Um, obviously, I followed the first one. Uh, the turnout looked phenomenal. The sport in the country looks like it's really, really on the rise. Uh, so I'm excited for it, yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about your training camp, your weight loss, if you had to cut weight, if you had to pick up weight? Can you tell me anything about that or a little more? Okay, so basically I hadn't been doing any sort of training until this offer came on, so I had a, a good amount of discipline that I needed to implement. Uh, weight loss has been on track, been disciplined in what we need to do and put the work in, so yeah, it's looking good. And how did you feel when they contacted you to be part of the T, uh, TBK2? Uh, I must be honest, I was super, how can I say, humbled at the same time. Um, I feel there's a, a select breed of fighters that are are made for, for, the, for this type of combat. It's the rawest form of combat that you, you get. And yeah, it's, it's humbling and honoring at the same time. And what's next after, if you win this fight? I don't know yet. I'm, I'm not looking past the, the fight that I've got ahead of me. Um, I believe I've got a, a game and a, a worthy oppon opponent. So after the 2nd of March, we can have a chat on the 3rd of March and decide from there. Awesome. And going into bare knuckle, it's much different from what you've previously done if you have done MMA and boxing and all of that. Bare knuckle is something very different. How do you mentally prepare for that? Uh, mental preparation, I haven't thought too much of it. Um, what I have considered is how strikes are thrown, how they landed, tightening up the defense. Um, I think it's going to be more precision than what a, a boxing fight would be. But with that being said, you can't expect to be in a, in a long game over here. It's going to be a quick, short short game. It needs to be precise. It needs to be fast. It needs to be accurate. Um, those are the, the three things that I've implemented in, in my mind every training session. Be safe, be tight, be accurate. Let's see what it does on fight nights. I think it's very unknown in the realm of coaching athletes, and that, that's a very exciting aspect on its own. Awesome. And any fight predictions? No. All, all I know right now is I sit here is we put in, I'm putting it all out on the night. I've put in a lot of work over the last nine weeks. And come, if we win, lose or draw, it's going to be one hell of a fight. Okay, last thing. You're going to take the mic. This is all yours. I want you to give a shout out or call out whatever you want. So guys, I'm not really the shout out type of person. I'd firstly like to thank my wife, my kids, my family that have supported me through this. The sponsors that have come on board supporting me through this as we, we kicking off a new type of combat sports in the, in the country. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Eh? Awesome. Thank you so much, Jason. We can't wait to see thank you. you for